Long before these cheerleaders take to the field to cheer on their Siganella Jaguars, they're practicing and conditioning their bodies and minds, preparing for the kickoff of varsity football season. Most of our conditioning is cheer specific, so we, um, they jump and they do stunts so they lift each other up as their weight training. We don't spend a lot of time in a traditional gym setting because we do everything that's sport specific. However, practicing routines and developing strength isn't the only obstacle to overcome before these cheerleaders make their debut. Well, the better that they can do their routine in this gym, the better they'll do it on the football field because they're confident and feel like they can do it in front of a crowd. So we work a lot on being a team and being confident in front of a But before the squad even hits the mat, the coach and captain have to organize the upcoming routines they will be performing and introduce them to the rest of the squad. Well, first we sit down, the coach and I, we find music that we want to use for the seasons all the way up to competition and stuff for our half times. So we just pick out the songs that we like. There's usually like four routines and One, count out two, the eight counts, three, make sure four, that there's five, stunts that everyone six, can do in them and mix it in with dance and try to make it competitive looking and uh, harder than usual. For all of the hard work and dedication required to be successful, cheerleader Lainey Ramirez says that the rewards can be found in the work they do and the friendships forged. Yeah, it's definitely not easy to do the dances, but we do have a lot of fun. We laugh at each other, you know, whenever we mess up, so it's all good. Yeah, I've definitely grown to a lot of girls over here. We've become best friends. Petty Officer Cody Hitson, Siganella, Italy. Three, four, five.